there, sunshines. I think we're all a little bit shocked that it's already July. It feels like 2020 is zooming towards us at top speed. So I think that right now is a perfect time for some reflection and a goals update to make sure that you're still on track for accomplishing your goals in 2019. So grab your bullet journal or your notebook or a scrap of paper and let's dive in. At the beginning of 2019, I set up the spread in my bullet journal. The idea behind it was to take the goals I wanted to accomplish and break them down into easily actionable and trackable tasks. So the way this works is that I listed my goals down the left-hand side of the page, months along the top, divided each month into weeks, and then added a task box for how many times I wanted to accomplish that goal in a week. So for example, I wanted to practice my French at least twice a week, so I put two boxes in each week column. Whereas one-off tasks like buying a new phone or designing a new logo just got one box around the time I wanted to have it completed by. Some tasks were harder to track as they didn't have a complete by date. So as you might expect, they got a bit forgotten throughout the year, but I did accomplish some of them. I think it's important to reflect on what you have accomplished already this year and not to get hung up on what you haven't yet done. You still have time to accomplish what you want to as long as you don't waste any of it being too hard on yourself. This is why I think it's important to track these things in your bullet journal or your agenda or a diary if you have one. It can be all too easy to forget what you've accomplished thus far and it's encouraging to be able to take stock of the wins. So I might not have abs yet or be at my goal weight, but what I did do is get my driver's license updated to my current province, designed a logo, built my website, and saved up for and bought a new phone. Not bad, right? So let's take those wins and the things that are no longer serving us and set up a brand new spread for the remaining months of the year with some revised goals. For the rest of the year, I'll be breaking my ongoing goals into three categories business, well-being, and personal. Under business, I'll track the number of blog posts, Instagram posts, and videos I put up each week. Under well-being, I'm going to track how often I do my morning pages and yoga. And under personal, I'm going to track how often I practice my French and how often I create something, which to me means drawing, painting, or doing a craft. Underneath all that, I'm making some boxes for my one-off goals things that are either done in one sitting or maybe have a few steps, but then will be completed. In this category, I have creating a feature wall in my main room, updating my website, saving for various equipment I need, and my progress with using the KonMari method to declutter my apartment. And now I'm all set. I may end up reviewing this again before the year is out, but as it stands, this is the plan for now. How are you doing so far with your 2019 goals? I'd love to hear all about it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting new content every Thursday. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time.